Hello, and welcome back to XRP Vault, where we bring you the most recent and intriguing XRP news. We're giving away 10,000 XRP to those who are watching. All you have to do is upvote, subscribe, comment XRP is king, and watch the video to the end to be eligible. The winners will be picked next month and publicized on the community page of the channel. The class action complaint brought by XRP holders against the Securities and Exchange Commission and US Transactions has been welcomed by cryptocurrency writer and influencer Ben Armstrong, commonly known as Big Boy. Remember that John Deaton, the creator of crypto law and an advocate for XRP, filed the complaint. More than 70,000 XRP holders have signed up to take part as of right now. And the SEC complaint against Ripple used the testimony of this group of investors in the lawsuit's initial filing. Apparently, says Deaton, as the attorney calls the struggle against what he perceives as action abused by regulatory authorities, the assistance of such a widely read blogger would considerably aid in bringing about decentralized justice. It is uncertain if the BitBoy's evidence is included in the 3,000 affidavits of XRP holders, but it is known that the courts will go over and take into account the opinions of XRP enthusiasts. The Blockchain Association and Coinbase, one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges, as well as XRP holders and a number of Ripple's partners, also wish to join the action by expressing their opinions about them in the form of a court-filed summary. In a tweet from October 9, former SEC Director William Hyman was accused of accepting bribes in order to classify Ethereum. The Ripple community, the Ripple community claims that these accusations against Hyman are unfounded and unsupported by facts. Armstrong made his statement in reaction to Cardano Adai inventor Charles Hoskinson's ideas on the subject of SAC official corruption. Hoskinson claims that, rather than indicating that the SEC approved F due to corruption, Ripple's lawyer should argue that an independent, decentralized coin like XRP should not be certified secure. The Ripple community has claimed that William Hyman, a former SEC director, accepts bribes from Ethereum and companies with financial interests. They claim that in a lecture from 2018, the former CEO stated that Ethereum and Bitcoin are not securities. Some XRP supporters disagreed with Hoskinson's opinions, claiming that his portrayal of the accusations as a conspiracy theory undermined the argument for XRP. Attorney John Deaton maintains that the accusations made against Hyman are serious and supported by evidence, not a plot. Big Boy claimed that Hoskinson has a score that is legitimate, but he added that William Hyman undoubtedly accepted bribes. It is evident that the US SEC refused to make Hyman's contentious 2018 speech available, claiming that it had nothing to do with the matter. The committee was just compelled to release the speech to the public by us District Judge Annalisa Torres, the second time a judge has commanded the SAC to do so. The SEC was recently criticized by Ripple for rejecting Amacus briefs submitted by two businesses that use its blockchain technology. The cryptocurrency corporation claims that the deposits are meant to assist the court. Chris Larson, a co-founder of Ripple, concurs that the absence of legislative certainty about the classification and use of cryptocurrencies is the most important problem. He also applauded Hoskinson's efforts to make Bitcoin's carbon neutral by creating a working proof-of-work code. Since the initial launch of the Bitcoin market, many people have jumped on board in the hopes of obtaining intergenerational wealth. However, beyond hope, we must take action, which calls for not just work, but also the appropriate gesture at the right time.
Investments help to create current and future financial stability because they can be used to increase wealth and generate returns that are higher than inflation. Cryptocurrencies are the most alluring investment choice in today's technologically evolved culture. You can count on one hand the number of prominent cryptocurrency related YouTube channels that include Ben Armstrong, nicknamed Big Boy. If that sounds familiar, then you are already familiar with his cryptocurrency. Related YouTube videos. He also invests in and promotes alternate forms of financing. Websites and YouTube channels have made Americans well known for their cryptocurrency market news tips and updates. Ben began making investments in the cryptocurrency market in 2012. But when Bitcoin first gained popularity, his interest was sparked. He sought to encourage it, but the end. Gox breach derailed his strategy. He got his footing when he made the decision to focus solely on cryptocurrency in 2018. His videos continue to receive more views even though he has about a million subscribers. To take advantage of potential future market volatility, millions of investors are frantically keeping a watch on blockchain-based cryptocurrencies that may skyrocket. Nowadays, trading and investing in cryptocurrencies differ significantly from traditional investing because there are few to no entrance barriers and a very inclusive society. To invest in cryptocurrencies, traders require a smartphone. The initial deposit is often minor, but on some sites, getting started can take up to five minutes. Therefore, it is crucial to comprehend what sets Ripple apart from other cryptocurrencies before investing in it. A Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other well-known currencies sought to be decentralized whereas XRP is owned by Ripple alone. Some people think that using Bitcoin to work with banks is the best option, with its token serving as a piggy bank for swift and effective value transfers across borders. Ripple is also trying to develop a cryptocurrency to fill a particular void in the banking sector. However, organizations like Bitcoin are attempting to take on or displace banks. With this breakthrough, banks have a huge market opportunity to take use of Ripple and its XRP solution. The XRP market will be strongly impacted by news about bank acceptance of and regulation of cryptocurrencies, though. Although it may appear counterintuitive, the rise of Ripple after 2022 is highly favorable, perhaps because of how difficult Ripples were in the years prior to 2020. Yes, it was among the crypto assets that performed the worst in 2019. This demonstrates that there is still opportunity for improvement looking back a few years, and it is important to understand the waves XRP has encountered throughout is to predict how it will function in 2020, too outy to predict how it will function in 2020, and how 2020 will affect it. What makes this the most promising in addition? Launched by Ripple in 2012, XRP has 100 billion tokens available prior to mining. This sum is significantly more than the 21 million Bitcoin cap. Additionally, more XRP cash can be produced than Bitcoin coins. Anyone wishing to invest in the future of transactions and payments should take into account XRP because it is a well-known financial institution coin that allows specialized investors in the financial industry to profit as well. Other elements impacting other cryptocurrencies also have an impact on the XRP token. As a result, buying foreign currency can be utilized as a hedging strategy. The most crucial thing to keep in mind is that XRP is a very volatile asset that is perfect for day traders since it provides several possibilities for short-term trading, whether buying or selling. Due to the fact that the Ripple's platform meets the needs of numerous financial institutions and other companies in the sector, its extensive use is another important market driver.
Therefore, the value of this platform may rise each time a reputable company uses it. Crypto skeptics and detractors, including prominent figures like Senator Elizabeth Warren and several legal and financial professionals, claim that the Ripple case seriously weakens regulations that safeguard investors and the financial system. As worries increase that instability could trigger a financial crisis, this is done to control a trend that can spread swiftly. Institutions now offer a wide range of digital assets and services as a result of the extraordinary increase of cryptocurrencies over the past two years, making diversity more evident. Initially, in an earlier interview with Protocol Alderaan, Ripple and the cryptocurrency community welcomed Gensler. Gary Gensler said that he will also take an active approach to cryptocurrencies, according to El Dorado, who has started to routinely criticize Gensler on Twitter. He claimed that after teaching blockchain and technology at MIT, he believed it would be excellent to have someone like Gensler take charge. The SEC and Gensler will employ all available strategies to stifle the market. Gensler argued in his November 2020 address that some market participants would refer to this as additional regulation, notwithstanding his refusal to name specific businesses or executives. The SEC intended to file a lawsuit against the San Francisco-based banking corporation in the early 2020s, according to Ripple CEO Brad Garlinhouse. Knightley Garlinhouse issued an internal memo to its employees in response to the SEC allegations covering a variety of topics including an overview of opposing viewpoints. This is an unusual move as regulators are usually the first to make waves. However, the SEC has since released a press release outlining their complaint. He also said that he and Chris Larson Ripple would be the targets of SEC defamation cases based on big boy stock. But according to recent reports, the Ripple zealots who opposed the sale lost and are now asking for a large revision. If accurate, this is a dangerous move for Ripple. But Garland House may see it as a chance to advance the U.S. cryptocurrency market. Please let us know what you think by leaving a comment below and be sure to click the subscribe button to remain informed.